Today we will solve a puzzle from Wayne Gould, the person who made Sudoku popular all over the world. His is an interesting story. See Sudoku History on sudokuprimer.com for more about Wayne Gould. There's a link in the description below the video to this history. This puzzle is from the New York Post Difficult Sudoku Book with puzzles from Wayne Gould. Well, I'm approaching this one a little bit differently. I'm not going to go and find low-hanging fruit, easy numbers right off, because I found some interesting things about this puzzle. First of all, with four numbers here, we have quadruplets, a potential for quadruplets right here. Okay, we've got a nine here already, so only three of the four numbers can be here. 1, 2, and 5, but we have a 1 and a 2 here already, so these are 1, 2 twins, and we have a 5 in one of these two positions because of the 1, 2 twins here. Okay, now let's look at these two boxes here, box 2 and box 8. This one's missing 1, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, and this one's missing 2, 5, 8. 4, 5, 9, 2, 5, 8. Okay, this one has a, f this one's missing 2, 5, and 8. We've got an 8 here and a 2, I mean a 5 here and a 2 there, so that's an 8. Okay, because we have ghost 5s there, so 2, ghost 5s, 8. This one's 4, 5, and 9 for those three numbers. We've got a... Uh, nine here and ghost fives here, so that's a four. All right, now we have a five and nine left here. With that nine, we can finish those. And we know one of these has to be a five, and it's got to be this one because of that five. And that leaves a two. All right, and then we've got a four in the middle here only number left in that column. All right, now um, one thing that's interesting about this puzzle, we find a lot of uh, quadruplets just like we found here. Um, even though we only knew three of the four numbers, we were able to um, find a lot of numbers because of the one, two twins that we found right here. And now that we've filled the 5 and 9 in, we can put this number in here. There's one, two twins there. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's an 8. All right. And we had quadruplets here before we put this number in here, too. What, are we, what were we missing? 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. Well, we found the 8 already. And we could have found that with the quadruplets, too. Three, six, seven, eight. All right. And now, let's see. What are we missing now? Three, six, and seven? Well, there's a three and a seven, so that's a six. Now we're missing three and seven. Well, there's a three. So we can finish those. All right, now we, we're only missing, we know one of these is a 5, and the other one's a 7. There's a 7, so we can finish those. So now, with those quadruplets that we found at the beginning, we've completed this entire section except for the one and two twins that we found right at the beginning. Right. Now, let's see. What are we missing here? 1, 2, 4, and 8. There's a 1, 4, and an 8 here, so that's a 2. So we're missing, now we're missing 1, 4, and 8. So with that, this set of quadruplets that we found, we only found one number. This is 1, 4, 8, 1, 4, 8, 1, 4, 8. All right, let's look at box 6. We got a set of quadruplets here. What are we missing? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 3, 5, and 6. 
Well, so let's see. We've got a 5 here, 5 here, 5 there. So that's a 5. All right. So now we're missing 2, 3, and 6. There's a 3. There's a 6. So that's a 2. Now we're just missing 3 and 6. With that 3, we can finish the 3 and 6 that we're missing. All right. With these 3's here and those 3's there, there's a 3 right there. All right. Now let's look at box 4. We got a set, set of quadruplets there too. Oh, and by the way, now that we have a 2 there, we can finish the 1 and 2 that we're missing there. All right. What are we missing here? 1 3 4 8. 1 3 4 and 8. Well, let's see, we've got an 8 here and an 8 here. So one of these is an 8. Well, and we also have, uh, let's see, what are we missing in this row? 3, 8, 3 and 8 there. And so th these are really twins, not just not quadruplets, because we have 3, 8 there and 1, 4 there. So we can solve the 3 and 8. And with that 1, we can solve the 1 and the 4. So at first I thought these were quadruplets, but we narrowed them down to twins to finish those. So now we have this section and this section done of the puzzle. All right, let's look at column two here. We're only missing two numbers, and they're two and nine. There's a nine there, so we can finish those. And this column is also missing two numbers, one and eight. There's an eight there, so we can finish those. All right, now I've only got a one 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 left there so we can put that one in and let's see one 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 there's a one there so now we're only missing four and eight in this row uh, six and seven there with that seven we can solve the six and seven here we have another set of quadruplets here Let's see what we're missing. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. Okay, we've got a five there and a five there, so that's a five. A four there. Let's see, four, four, five, four, eight, nine, four, four. Four. Let's see. Eight there, so that's an eight. And we're missing four and nine there. There's a nine, so that's a four, and that's a nine. So we got those quadruplets done. Let's look at box three. We got a set of quadruplets here. Two, six, seven, nine. 2, 6 there, there's a, so, let's see, so these are 7 and 9, with that 9 we can solve those, and these have to be 2 and 6 because uh, only two numbers left, and we got a 2 there, all right, now let's look at row 7, we got a set of quadruplets here, what are we missing, 3, 4, Six seven three four six seven here. Okay, so that's a four or a six because we have three and seven there. Oh, we have a four six and seven there, so that's a three. Now we're missing four six and seven, so this would be a four or a six. There's a four and a six, so that's a seven. We don't have a four or six here, so we have four six here now. But remember our four eights that we had here. With that eight, we can solve those. 
And now, with this 4, we can solve the 4 and 6 here. All right, um, now we only have a couple numbers left in box 7 and box 9. Let's see, 2 and 8 here, with that 8 there, that's a 2 and that's an 8. And 5, 6, 5, 6 here, with that 6, that's a 5, and that's a 6. So, and that's, we're done. All right, well, these uh, Wayne Gould difficult puzzles, I wouldn't say are, they're real difficult. They're fairly easy to solve. This one was kind of fun because we found some interesting patterns and lots of quadruplets in this one. And we were able to solve it pretty easily. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.